Good morning. My name is David Dalson, and this is another edition of the Mayesh Minute. Today I'd like to address an issue, uh, I think it comes up time and time again throughout the year, uh, for all of us here at Mayesh, and for all of you, the floral professionals. You know, we try really hard to fulfill each and every order that we get, but sometimes there just simply is not enough supply to fill the demand. Uh, one thing uh, that comes to mind right now, and which I would like to address today, is, for instance, pink ranunculus. There aren't enough. There is one source in the world, and uh, too many people who need the supply. This one uh, producer is shipping all over the world, and uh, we're getting our fair share, but sometimes we just don't have enough to meet, uh, to meet the demand. So I'd like to offer a, a couple of uh, ideas, for instance, for pink ranunculus, we have here uh, this very pretty Astrantia. This is Astrantia major, and the cultivar is Rosea. Uh, it gets its name Astrantia from the Latin astra, uh, meaning star. And you can see it has a really gorgeous, tiny little star-shaped bracts uh, around the center flower. Uh, but the overall appearance is one of round. It fits in very well with the pave arrangements, and, and is a great sub for the what florists are doing with the ranunculus. Uh, another one that you may want to consider right now, for instance, is these new pink blushing brides. Again, you can use them in that same context in pave arrangements, the bridal bouquets, low on centerpieces for, uh, for uh, the receptions and so on and so forth. Uh, ask your sales associate at Mayesh, you know, if, if the ranunculus aren't available, what can we substitute with? And I'm sure they'll be more than happy to help you. Um, whether it's white ranunculus or peonies going into the next few months when they're really not available, please ask your uh, mayor sales associate, and I'm sure we can find you a substitute that will work. My name is David Dawson, and this has been another Mayesh Minute.